In the previous video, we discussed about the chromatography and its classification. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about paper chromatography. We know it's an analytical method used to separate dissolved chemical substances. The paper chromatography is a type of partition chromatography using planar technique. In partition chromatography, the substances are partitioned or distributed between two liquid phases. The two phases here are water and mobile phase like methanol. So during chromatography, some substances stick more with the water than mobile phase and we get the separation. In order to understand the paper chromatography, we have two important terms to remember stationary phase and mobile phase. The stationary phase is the liquid in the form of water deposited in network of cellular fibers of filter paper. And it must be noted here, the water is polar inorganic molecule. Then we have the mobile phase, its solvent non-polar part, like methanol. And we know we also have a paper in paper chromatography, on which stationary phase binds and interacts. Now let's see the types of paper chromatography. First we have the ascending paper chromatography, where we see the solvent movement is upwards, and the movement is due to capillary action. Here we see we have a beaker with solvent methanol in it at the bottom. In order to demonstrate the ascending chromatography, we take a small rectangular piece of filter paper shown in the video. We fold it in this way, so that we can hang it on the thread fitted on the top of beaker. Then we put a minute quantity of ink at the bottom shown in the video. And after that we have to put this paper hanging in the beaker. But remember, the solvent must not touch the ink directly. So we have to dip just the bottom edge of paper into the solvent shown in the video. Now from here, the solvent goes up with the capillary action and it takes the ink mixture with it. And we get the final chromatograph shown in the images. Now we have to encircle the separated components. Here we encircle the blue one and orange one like this. And we can calculate the RF values now. From the star to the center of orange dot is denoted by X. Then from the star to the center of blue is denoted by Y. And from the star to the end or solvent front is denoted by A. So to calculate the RF values of X, it is distance traveled by X component divided by the distance traveled by solvent front. That's RF is equal to X divided by A. In the same way, RF of Y is Y divided by A. Then we move on to the descending paper chromatography, where solvent movement is downwards and we see both capillary action as well as gravity aids the process. Solvent touches here, the movement of mobile phase is downwards and this is the solvent front. Third one is ascending descending paper chromatography, where solvent moves upwards first then moves downwards. And we see both capillary action as well as gravity aids the process. In order to illustrate this process, let's take a pet radish with solvent in it. And let's take a piece of filter paper and fold it like this shown in the video. Now let's drop an ink spot here. And then we put this filter paper in pet radish in this way. So that we get an uphill and downhill like structure. Now the solvent starts moving upwards, taking the ink mixture with it. It moves to the top and then from here it starts moving down. So ultimately we get the ascending descending chromatography. Then we have the fourth type which is radial paper chromatography. Where we take a circular filter paper on which stationary phase and mobile phase interacts. And the sample is put in the center. Here we take the circular filter paper and pet radish with methanol in it. We fold this circular filter paper like this and make a cut in the center so that we get the final paper with a hole in the center shown in the video. Now let's take a piece of paper and roll it like this to make a cylindrical like shape. This will act as a wick for our experiment. After that we put ink samples around the hole in the center shown in the video. And then we take the cylindrical paper and fit it in the hole of circular filter paper like this. Now we need to cut the extra length of cylindrical shaped paper 
above the circular shaped paper. But beneath it, we put half an inch of cylindrical paper as such, like this, which will be dipped in the petri dish. Now we put the whole structure of papers in the petri dish, where only the cylindrical shaped lower part touches the solvent. So immediately the capillary action takes place. The solvent rises up and is then distributed in the circular disc shaped filter paper shown in the images. And we get the final chromatograph of radial chromatography like this. And the last type of paper chromatography is the two-dimensional paper chromatography. Works on capillary action, but here we use two types of solvents. Let's see how it's done. We take the solvent in petri dish, and then on the filter paper, we put the ink samples like this. Then we put this paper in the petri dish where solvent rises up and takes the ink components with it. So we get the chromatograph like this. After that we wait couple of hours and then change the solvent. Now we take the same chromatogram but we rotate it 90 degree and put it in the new type of solvent and then run the procedure so that we get the different kind of chromatogram. It must be noted here. We use more sophisticated equipments in the lab. I just demonstrated here the concept of paper chromatography practically. So this is what paper chromatography is and its types. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider support my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.